Assalamualaikum. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, we are still in the topic 3, Determination of National Income Equilibrium. This topic is quite long. I always told you, topic 3 is very long, so until now, we still not finish this topic. And for this video, I will go through a little bit of equilibrium in four sector economy but actually for this sector is it's complete sector we have household firm government and foreign sector so if you you already understand uh, in three sector economy so i think for four sector economies should be no problem at all and i guess you might study by your own for this part and if but if you have uh, but if you still do not understand and still have question to answer uh, to us just uh, leave your question in the comment in youtube and also in padlet i will respond to any question so you uh, can study on how to find why it's similar to three sector just add foreign sector export minus import mm, graphic analysis leakage injection for algebra and also graphic analysis and tabular analysis so it's simple okay and for this video i will focus more on multiplier this i guess the, the last part for this topic concept of multiplier so in this part you have to understand concept of multiplier the, the uh, major effect of change in investment and government expenditure on national income by using multiplier concept and to understand inflationary and deflationary gap okay for multiplier if you notice few days ago um, from our Prime Minister's speech on Prihatin budget, he said on this, uh, he said about multiplier effect. Okay, if you look at the speech, English version, um, page, page 11, um, these measures announced in this package are aimed at ensuring the continuity continuity of economic activities especially with the cash disbursement of bantuan prihatin national in addition the government will focus on domestic investment activities that have high multiplier effect that is multiplier and preserving job so what we gonna study we gonna learn after this is the theory behind what what have uh, what had prime minister said before so what is multiplier in malay ban penggandaan so also have it in the speech malaysia version um the penggandaan kepada pelaburan so that is multiplier so what is actually multiplier multiplier is the ratio of the change in income to the change in aggregate demand so aggregate demand we have four consumption investment uh, government expenditure and export minus import so any change in one of the aggregate demand will affect national income so multiplier shows how many times the effect of an initial change in aggregate demand is multiplied by causing changes in consumption and finally in the aggregate income so there are two ways to calculate um, multiplier we denote as k so k equals to change in income over change in aggregate demand okay and the other ways is k equals to 1 over 1 minus ma marginal propensity to consume mpc and the size of multiplier depends upon the size of MPC. The higher MPC, the higher size of multiplier and the lower MPC, the lower the size of multiplier. So, we 
uh, here aggregate demand and next we will focus on investment multiplier government expenditure multiplier and tax multiplier only this multiplier i will focus in this syllabus okay for investment multiplier Okay, investment multiplier refers to the ratio of the change in the equilibrium income to, to a change in investment. Means that when the investment increase, how many, um, how big the national income will change? That is multiplier. So for investment multiplier, we denote as KII for investment, change in income over change in investment, or 1 divided by 1 minus MPC. The other way can be 1 divided by MPS. Do you still remember MPS plus MPC equals to 1? So 1 minus MPC same to MPS. Okay, as for example, given C 200 plus 0 0.75 Y and investment is 100, what is equilibrium income level when there is an increase in investment? by 50 million what will happen to the national income if firm invest another 50 million okay we assume the original um, original income is 1200 million okay this is the original income so uh, if investment increase by 50 million what is the new equilibrium income level okay so here we get MPC 0 0.75 so this is the solution in order to get new equilibrium income level you have to find Y plus the change in Y how to get change in Y here how to get this K equals to change in Y divided by change in investment so this one you have to find first how to get this? You have to find K. And in order to find K, you have to use this formula. Okay, quite complicated, right? Okay, so you have to use you, you have to use this way to find how many times the national income will increase. So for this, um, change in Y equals to KI times change in investment. So from this, you restructure, change in Y. So this one will move to the left-hand side, change in I times K. That's why we have this. And then K, we can, you, we can find by use this formula, 1 divided by 1 minus MPC, 0 .0, 0 0.75. So here, 1 divided by 1 minus MPC times 50 so for this one uh, actually I, I miss one step before um, actually 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.75 equals to 4 means that uh, national income will multiply by 4 times okay the multiplier effect multiplier is 4 times so in in every 1 million in, in investment increase national income will increase by four times so four times times 50 four times 50 here you will get 200 million so when firm increase the investment by 50 million the national income will increase by 200 so this is the change in y and to get new in new equilibrium income level y plus change in y so the original is 1200 million plus 200 million equals to 1400 million do you get it okay if you still do not understand please rewind and rewind to understand what have i said before okay this is for investment multiplier next for government multiplier government expenditure multiplier similar to investment but the component of aggregate demand is g 
So here, government expenditure multiplier refers to the ratio of the change in equi equilibrium income to a change in government expenditure and we assume there is no change in tax. Okay, for this, uh, we denote as KG, refer uh, multiplier for government expenditure, change in income divided by change in government expenditure and the other way to to calculate multiplier is 1 divided by 1 minus MPC similar to investment multiplier or 1 divided by MPS okay so this is the example given C equals to 200 plus 0 0.75 YD and income equilibrium is 1,200 million. Okay. What is the new equilibrium income level when there is an increase in government spending by 50 million? So, an increase in government spending by 50 million. For example, I told you, um, okay, budget prihatin, for example, if government increase 250 billion, how many national income will multiply by that amount? Uh, so, uh, we have to calculate lah what, what the amount of national income. But for this, what will happen to national income if government spending increase by 50 million? You have to uh, identify increase by or increase to. Increase by the change is 50. When uh, the, the question asks increase to, you have to find the change. Okay, increase to 200. So you have to find the change. For this um, example, increase by means that change in G is 50 million. Okay, let's look at the solution. For the solution, change in Y equals to KG times change in G. This one we also restructure from this formula uh, to get change in income. So, KG times change in government expenditure. So, you have to find this and this actually four times. Okay, four times. One divided by one minus 0 0.75. Four times. So, in any one million increase in G, national income will multiply by four times. Okay, so... When we calculate, the change in income is 200 million. And to find the new equilibrium, you have to add the original income and the change in income. So the answer is 1,400 million. For this part, you have to use multiplier effect. I know you can use uh, by ADAS or leakage injection. But for this question, please use multipliers because I want to, uh, the, the, the question usually want to test you about multiplier. Okay. Alright. Mm. Okay. I think this video getting long. I, I guess we should end this video now. For text multiplier, I will explain in the next video. Okay. Thank you all. Bye.